You're here with Leo Jones with AGB TV, man. We're here at the ABKC Bully Extravaganza 9. I'm here with Oscar, Bella, Mandy, Isaiah. And I have one question for these guys, and I'm going to ask each and every one of you this question, okay? What is a shorty bull? I don't know. I say a French bulldog with ears clipped. A short bulldog? <laughs> That's a good answer. I don't know. That's a better answer. Yeah, I'm gonna go with a short bulldog. A short bulldog. What is a shorty bull? Shorty bull is a cross between an English bulldog and a French bulldog with pit bull terrier way back in the line. It's just where the English bulldog and the French bulldog, you can breed an English and a French to create a Gen 1 shorty bull. Now, the shorty bull was derived off of the three breeds, the pit bull terrier adding top line, but then the English bulldog and the French bulldog adding size with muscle and mass and bone. So basically, it was just a really good companion breed. Do you, do you like the shorty bull breed? Oh, I can, they're very athletic. They're still able to go out with you, even though having board all characteristics. Pastor Troy, man, you here with Leo Jones from AGB TV, and I just want to ask you one question, brother. What is a shorty bull? You know, a shorty bull, man, to me is like a pit bull, bulldog mix, low to the ground, heavy stock, wide, looking good, man. What is a shorty bull? As far as I know, I believe it was an English bulldog and a French bulldog uh, mixed with a couple other things in the beginning, early stages of it. Now, I believe that the shorty bull was created about, about 15 to 20 years ago. And as consistency started coming along in the breed and it started having the characteristics more consistently when they was breeding and stuff, it became its own breed. I gotta give it to Jamie because uh, she took a breed that was a concept and made it a reality. And she made it consistently where many breeds are having a hard time today uh, coming up with a consistent look. And uh, she did a beautiful job of blending a couple of breeds and making a real happy marriage. So when you look at her dogs, you could see the dogs that were used in the process of making her dog. No one would tell you the answer to what is a shorty bull? I didn't know how to produce one. Well, we kind of like them. I just want to know what makes them. Boy, Bully the Kid. I'm Christopher Bully the Kid Bennett. Been involved in the ABKC and the dog show world now since 2008, so I'm 11 years strong. I don't know if that makes me an OG, a vet, whatever you want to call me. I've been here for a minute. Uh, you know, my breed of choice, of course, is the Shorty Bull. That's what I rock with, and that's what I get down with, of course. You know, my, my coming into the breed is a little bit different than a lot of people's. Um, I was approached to have a lot of different American bullies, and, and they just weren't really the right fit for me. So I saw a Shorty Bull. I talked to a lot of people that have been in the breed for a little bit. And the one thing that kept happening was no dog was hitting me with like that gotta have it type thing. So uh, I kind of was waiting. And then in 2010, Nationals in Atlanta, 
a man named Clint Arthur came up to me, he had a bad little cream shorty bull. And I'm like, yo, that one looks different than anything I had ever seen at that point. And he said, you gotta go to the river. Anthony, man, what is a shorty bull? A shorty bull is a Frenchie and an English bulldog mix. It's my final answer, bro. I don't know. You gotta, you gotta ask Ife the Okie Dog Kindles on that one. You heard? <laughs> Thank you, man. Oh, so my girl, true story is off situation. And uh, a female named Cherry Bomb, and Cherry Bomb is a uh, little bit sisters to uh, Jamie's boy uh, Skids. So yeah, I'm in there. I got my breeding pair, man, and then you know me and Jamie just collaborating on on, on breedings and collaborating our visions and just really hoping to take the shorty bull to the next level. We're just trying to get it to the level where people can really see what this dog is all about. What makes it different from other breeds? It's not a French. It's not an English bulldog. It's not an old English bulldog. It's not a bully. It's not a pit bull. A shorty bull is an actual breed. We got into the Bulldogs when she was three years old. We bought our first Bulldog, uh, Willowick High Hope. We bought this uh, dog and we paid, that was in 1967 and Jamie was three and uh, we didn't want Jim's parents to know how much we paid because that was a lot of money that year. I mean those in the 60s. So we, when they would come to our house to visit, we'd hurry and hide the dog in the basement and hope it didn't bark. And um, so uh, we bred the dog, and um, Willowick High Hope had eight puppies. You know, we stayed up at night with them. We had a C-section. It was the day that Robert Kennedy got shot. This one quit breathing. I, just, I went out to check him because I was in watching the TV, and I went out to check the dogs, and this one was lifeless. And um, I opened its mouth and gave it mouth to mouth, and um, it lived. And so we sold more, I sold more dollars worth of bulldogs that year than we did on 95 acres of wheat down here, than my husband did on 95 acres of wheat down here in the, in the uh, farm. So we thought we really wanted to get into the bulldogs. So then we bought some more dogs and we kept some of our females that we had. And uh, that's how we got started. Well, what people don't know about her is her father was a dog person. So she got his 50, 60 years of experience when she was five years old. She fooled with dogs as soon as she walked. She'd tell me stories about her and her father, how they breed dogs, how you find out about genetic defects and how you make a dog better. And I'd talk to her and I'd get off the phone and I could say, you know, I can't believe the knowledge that she has. Well, Jamie's my daughter and she was named after my husband. His name was James Dean and her name is Jamie D, and um, she was my firstborn, and she's always loved animals, especially dogs, horses, anything that has four legs and moves. Jamie Sweet is one of a kind. Uh, she's probably the most, one of the most respected breeders in the world, to be quite honest with you. Um, <laughs> especially in the bully community, and she's not even an American bully breeder. So that should kind of just tell you the type of respect that she commands um, as it pertains to dogs and breeding in general. She's been doing this all her life. I mean, she's, she's, she's generations of dog people in her family. Yeah. So it wasn't a thing that happened overnight. Or Definitely. That, so, uh, her knowledge is vast, and for what she has done 
it's, it's pretty amazing. She continued to always like the dogs, and then she got into, she had different bulldogs, English bulldogs, and then she had, I believe she had some French bulldogs, and then she got into the, developing this breed of shorty bulls. And, and that's about the time my husband got sick at his final sickness, and uh, she was into that big time when he never got to see the fruit of her labor. Well, I've done so many things. You know, I, I've bred dogs for a long time. I mean, I talked to mom today, so I had a whole lifetime of that and watching dad through his breeds. And, you know, then I wanted to do my own, of course. That's what you want to do when you're grow up that way so did American Bulldogs and and I did everything you do in them did oldies did English and this this little thing was so new it was new the alternative Bulldog was just brand new then there's no pockets there was no exotics there was no all the all those little designer crossbreeds were just starting out I just liked the dog a lot because it was so much easier than American Bulldogs the crates I could carry in one hand. I love that. Jamie Sweet's a, a gal I've known since I was in high school. Um, uh, first time I ever met her, she brought an English Bulldog in here. Uh, I've been involved with her uh, shorty bull business since the start. Uh, I think she's a great person. She cares about the breed. I think she's done a great job developing the breed. Joe Rita, and I'm from Heavy Duty Kennels, and we're in Bethlehem, Connecticut. Yeah, well, I did a lot of different things. Some of them are a little controversial, but ever since I was about 16, 17, I had an interest in dogs and trying to make my own dogs. You, you know, you get a pit bull, then you you want you wish you had a bigger pit bull, and then you want to mix it with a bull mastiff. And back in them days, it was taboo, you know. You're not supposed to do things like that, but you know, you make a little, make a dog for what you wanted, you know. And uh, the, over the years, I went after the uh, old bulldoggies and um, American bulldogs and a lot of Baja blue blood bulldogs. And probably in the early 90s, late 80s, I started doing a lot of English bulldog to pit bulls, didn't know what to call them. They just made a real nice looking dog. And that was taboo, you know, you couldn't tell a, you're buying an English bulldog from somebody or you're gonna breed it with a pit bull, they think you're out of your mind. And uh, how the world changes, you know. Nowadays, that's the thing to do, you know. And uh, so over the years, you run into a lot of different people through the dogs. Most of them are good people. Uh, one of them offhand is Jamie Sweet, probably the most knowledgeable dog person I ever I ever got introduced to or met or dealt with. So I read articles online, I had written articles in Atomic Dog, and nowhere was the name Jamie Sweet mentioned. So you know me, I'm a scholar, I had to research it, and then I find out that this lady out in Kansas had invented the breed, and I was like, yo, I gotta get out of here, because the way I was brought up, is if somebody's hiding something from you and they won't mention somebody's name, they got the good stuff. So I hit up Jamie Sweet and I found out that this woman right here, she had bred bulldogs forever and a minute. And she knew so much that I didn't know. And my grandfather had taught me a lot about dogs. So talking to her, it kind of brought back that feeling of an old dog person that really cared about what they were creating and they wanted to create that new every litter. Funny how I got to know her. Back in the day before the internet, we used to have Dog World and Dog Fancy. This is how we met other dog breeders across the country. You know, you'd wait two, three weeks for a picture of a dog to come in the mail, because if they had something you might be interested in, then you'd take a ride. They'd take you to Ohio, they'd take you to, you know, California, wherever you had to go to find the dogs. 
today, the internet, you find them within seconds. So a few times we took rides to Pennsylvania, Ohio, and we'd find these dogs. And the name Jamie Sweet would keep coming up. Where'd you get that dog? Oh, from Jamie Sweet. Jamie Sweet. You go to six months later, you take a ride, you go look at some other big, giant, beautiful dogs. Where'd you get that one? Oh, that come from Jamie Sweet. Well, me not knowing, I, you know, Jamie, to me, that's a boy's name or a girl's name, but I just figured it was a man. So after hearing this Jamie Sweet's name six or seven times, I finally got her number and I called and the lady answered. Yeah, is Jamie there? Yeah, you got her. Huh? And I said to myself, oh boy, it's not a woman. What is she gonna know about dogs? Well, after talking to Jamie for about two, three hours that night, I realized she knew more than me. So we started breeding dogs together. Then she had this, we breed dogs, and she had beautiful oldies. Her Americans were top notch. Everything she did, you know, she did right. After knowing her for like 10 years, she starts telling me about this breed she's gonna develop. And she knows I don't like small dogs. She goes, I wanna make this little compact dog, this little, a dog that's fearless, this little dog. So she, what do you think? I said, well, I don't like little dogs, Jamie. No, but I'm gonna make them so that, you know, they're ferocious and they're, you know, they're not afraid, they'll work. They'll... Jamie, it's a pipe dream. It's a pipe dream, you know, how much work's involved. No, I didn't, start, I didn't start out and say, I want this to be a breed. Mm -hmm. I started out, let's see what happens, you know? Yeah. Well, let's see, it was like a challenge to myself. Let's see if I can shorten the back on this just like I wanted. And then the challenge became, can, can I keep it to scale? I'm really big on to scale. It's easy, it's easy to cut the legs off something. You know, okay. that, that's easy to do. But to compress it all at the same time, you know, is hard to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, so it's just, you know, it's a form of art to me, breeding dogs. And, uh, and the challenge is truly with myself. You know, Jamie Sweet is an icon in the shorty bull world, but it's more than that. Uh, people don't realize she's been around for a long time. Yeah. And if I were to say somebody was my mentor, it would be Jamie Sweet. I think uh, being in the bully world or any kind of dog world, it's a continuous learning process. Yeah. So if you're out there and you, you think you know everything there's to know about dogs, then, then it's time for you to leave. Yeah. Even myself, as many years as I've been in this, uh, I'm, I, I look at myself as a, law, uh, as a lifetime student of the game. So, and I shouldn't even call it a game. It's, it's a serious business. And I think that uh, you gotta have people like that in your life to help you grow. Uh, she's one of them and I, I've, I've, uh, I've had a few, but in today's time, she's the one that stands out to me right now. Amy's probably one of the most knowledgeable people in dogs, just because of her, her own pedigree. There's questions that I used to ask of that and I never got the right answers to. And I'd call her before I finished asking her fucking question, she's answering it. It's like, wow, you've seen this before? 100 times, Joe, 100 times. The inspiration was I just was, I was really having fun. I love to breed dogs to see what I can make. And uh, I, that's what I was doing. I was just having some fun. And I've learned so much from her um, in the last uh, eight months to a year that we've really been talking and, and learning and, and trying to grow the Shorty Bull. Um, she just has a wealth of knowledge to really give to people, anybody that's interested in dogs. Um, I had a shorty bull thug, we called him, thug. And uh, we went to Atlanta to a, a bully show, and she hands me this dog. She said, hey, this is yours, you know, for all the help, which I really didn't help 
she really didn't need my help. So she hands me this little cream puff ball. And, you know, I, I, it was cute. It was a cute little dog, but like I say, I like, I like a man's dog, you know. But, and so I show my wife. My wife falls in love with this little thug dog. And the funny thing about it was, when we got to the expo, I put the dog in the crate up on a bunch of other crates. And I got these big dogs, and everybody, hey, who's is that? Hey, who's is that? Hey, who's that? Uh, and I was like, uh, oh, it's Jamie's. I want to buy the dog. A basketball player came, wanted to buy the dog, we offered her $7,000. This is back 10 years ago. And uh, it's Jamie, sell the dog. 10 grand, man. No, that's your dog. No, 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 that's yours. It's not for sale, not for sale. Jamie, 10 grand, give me another one. No, that's your, nah, that's your dog. Take that dog home. He was a house pet, house pet. We took him to a few shows. Like I said, back then I was cutting back on dogs. We had him in the house. Good guard dog, he, you know, bark. He, he, I don't know about bite a person. If you backed him up, he'd defend himself for sure. He had heart, he had a lot of heart. He had too much heart, to be honest with you. But um, I could see the breeding behind him. I, I go back to the videos and I see Jamie in her overall shooting guns over his head and wondering why, why the fucking dog don't flinch. Well, that's why I'm under the shed trying to chase him out of a, a foxhole. This is probably the most knowledgeable person in dogs I ever, I've ever met, talked to, and she just impressed me. You know, she impressed me, and she actually impressed me how she did these short, shorty bulls, how she researched the dogs. She knew exactly, exactly what she wanted, and she achieved it. <laughs> Small, 
Watch, watch when you get home, she gonna pick him up, kiss him all that. You never <laughs> seen me do that. Never. <laughs> this was these two. Both of them. You want me to tell you as we go? No. I'm all, if, if, oh no. I want them all in here. You are you are difficult. I am. I want them all in here. And the reason I was like, trying to say him is because of the front. Of the front. You're right. You're right. He is. He is. His front. Right. You are correct. I'm Jamie Sweet is unlike anybody else. I don't care if you breed corgis, bulldogs, lots of options, Westminster cats, whatever you breed, you're not gonna find too many people like Jamie Sweet that are as knowledgeable and as passionate and as, as experienced in anything as she is. She is definitely an, an expert and a genius and a guru when it comes to breeding dogs in general. And when it comes to the shorty bull, it couldn't have had a better creator, man. Respect always. That's the purpose of a breed. That's why it's a breed. And there's five components to that. So I made this little uh, way to remember type. Okay. Every canine can't show, man. The type is what makes it stand out and stand on its own. And I said, where the hell did you find this shredded, ripped up dog that's jumping in and out of cars? Yeah. They're out here, you just gotta look. You gotta get the right dog. They gotta use the right dog. I don't want a train wreck. I was using these three breeds, and I knew that they would be upset. That's normal. When you think about it like that, I think I think that's a great way to think of how we do as breeders because it's it's a game. I, put, I don't want to do Blue Rock in my river. 